Is it too good to be true? So today we're going to look at debunking work from home myths for women over 50. My name is Tracy Montgomery and I talk about all things menopause, midlife and all that that goes with it. Okay, so make sure that you stay on to the end so that you get all the juices. So when we are in this perimenopause stage and life is getting a little bit too much and we're worried about certain things about ourselves, how we're feeling, what we're doing and getting up every morning and going to work is becoming too much of a challenge. Might be time to change what we're doing. Yeah, we still need an income. Doesn't necessarily mean that we have to leave the house to do that. So let's think about what we could do beforehand. There are so many opportunities out there. And I know that there are some common misconceptions that working online is just for the youngsters. Uh -uh. And I know that as we get older, we think that everything online is going to be a scam. It's all going to go bear shape. You're going to be fleeced. But there are certain things that we can do and there are certain due diligences that we can follow through to make sure that we are being advantaged rather than disadvantaged. So there is lots of evidence, there's lots of statistics that working from home can at certain times of your life improve that work-life balance. It can improve your health and therefore improve your life going forward. So first off that we need to address is working from home going to be easy? It's not all Instagram pretty photos on a beach. Not necessarily that. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go down routes that you're not comfortable with. However, there is support out there. There are people you can turn to that can help you. And there are places that you can go to that will support you. So the first thing that you need to think about is, can I continue working as I am? If not, where can I go? What can I look for? And then you need to think to yourself, how do I find out this information? How do I know this information is real? So, as I've said, there are lots of opportunities out there for you to work on line and there are lots of different places that you can go to you can find yourself spending thousands on learning individual different types of opportunities why not cut that down go to one place that has lots of opportunities within it so if that is something that you are interested in you can E-commerce, you know, like your Etsy, Amazon stores, that's e-commerce. You can invest. You may have money that you want to invest, but you're not sure what to do with it now, especially in light of the way the banks are behaving at the minute. You may want to get into property, something that you've always thought about. And we know there are billionaires out there that have invested in property. Think about the richest man on the planet. You may want to, I know, I'm going to say the word, get involved with crypto. But you need somebody to show you how to do it. And the same with trading. So these are non-traditional jobs, but they are ways that you can earn money. And bear in mind that a lot of the people that are sat at Canary Wharf, went to Cheltenham, they're going to be doing those sort of careers. So, if you'd like to know more information about these type of opportunities and you want to be all under one umbrella company where there's loads of support, lots of opportunities for you, and most of all, nobody will judge you, plus you don't have to pay for one thing. So, 
as I've said, my name is Tracy Montgomery. I talk about all things menopause, midlife, and all the crap that goes with it. Bearing in mind, work-life balance is part of the crap side. Drop me a comment below. Say, for me. And we can chat further about some of the opportunities that I have available for you to learn in a safe, secure, supportive environment. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.